Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, the FAA moving forward to enable safe integration of drones. Also busted, drone pilot suspected of hitting LAPD chopper is arrested. And Flirty partners with Volt Health to conduct COVID-19 test kit drone delivery. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today, so let's start with FAA is moving forward to enable safe integration of drones. The FAA published airworthiness criteria for the proposed certification of 10 different UAS as special class aircraft. This is a crucial step to enabling more complex drone operations beyond what is allowed under the Small Unmanned Aircraft Rule Part 107, including package delivery. Director of Aircraft Certification Service Policy and Innovation, Dr. Michael Romanowski said, the development of airworthiness durable and reliable unmanned aircraft is a crucial step forward for this innovative sector. The airworthiness criteria provide a level of safety equivalent to that provided by existing airworthiness standards applicable to other categories of aircrafts and establish a defined path to type certification for specific drones. Each applicant seeking a type certificate must follow FAA's requirements and safety objectives. The applicant's drone range from 5 to 89 pounds and includes several types of vehicle designs, including both fixed wing and rotorcraft and all are electric powered. Each notice outlines the applicant's proposed UAS for certification and airworthiness criteria proposed by the FAA. This is a step in certification process and does not imply these applicants have earned type certificates. Coming up after the break, SpaceX hits another milestone. We'll have those details after the break. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. BLT is just another tick on your pre-flight checklist until you need it. Did you ever wonder what would happen if you had an engine failure over the mountains, marshland, or other dangerous terrain? Take to the skies confidently with the most reliable and highest performing ELTs and safety products on board that instantly mobilize life-saving search and rescue across the world. Read survivor stories from aviators and adventurers who survived life-threatening encounters thanks to ACR and Artex life-saving technology. Luck favors the prepared at SurvivorClub.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making rounds in the unmanned vehicle communities. Check this out. Falcon 9 launches 100 times and its seventh use of its first stage booster. On Tuesday, November 24th, SpaceX launched its 16th Starlink mission from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The Falcon 9 first stage rocket booster that supported this mission previously flew on six other missions. Following stage separation, SpaceX landed Falcon 9's first stage on the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship, which was located in the Atlantic Ocean. It was the 61st successful landing of the first stage booster. One half of the Falcon 9's fairing previously supported a mission, and the other half previously supported two. Here's some exciting news. Skyfront unveils control handoff during first submarine drone delivery. The long endurance hybrid electric Skyfront perimeter drone was recently used to perform the first ship to submarine delivery via small unmanned aircraft. During the historic flight, the perimeter took off from a moving surface vessel and delivered supplies to the crew of the ballistic missile submarine in a quick and cost-effective way to resupply submarines at sea. The flight unveils Skyfront's command and control handoff capability. During the flight, pilots aboard the surface vessel launched the drone and flew it near the submarine. Once there, pilots aboard the submarine took control of the drone and released the package onto the top of the sub. Walmart wants to get you into the holiday spirit with holiday drone shows. 
Walmart is planning the Walmart Holiday Drone Light Show, an all-new experience that will be performed in the skies of select communities across the country and via live-streamed events. The Walmart Holiday Drone Light Show is a free and contactless experience that brings holiday songs to life like never before. Thanks to nearly 1,000 Intel drones launched into the night sky, the light show creates three-dimensional seasonal shapes and characters like snowflakes, reindeer, snowmen, and holiday presents. Initial drone registrations about to expire. The FAA is reminding everyone whose drone registration expires on December that the Drone Zone is the FAA's official website for registration. If you completed your drone registration directly with the FAA before the Drone Zone was established in January 2018, a Drone Zone account was already created using your information that you provided. If you registered using a third party service, contact that company to request your Drone Zone login credentials. Otherwise, you will have to create a new account in the Drone Zone and get a new registration. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now let's go back to the rest of the news. The drone pilot suspected of hitting an LAPD helicopter was arrested. Using data from the remnants of the drone that hit the LAPD helicopter last September and other evidence, the feds believe they have found the operator of the errant aircraft. Special agents with the FBI this week arrested a Hollywood man on federal charges alleging that he recklessly operated a drone that crashed into a Los Angeles Police Department's helicopter. The drone damaged the LAPD's aircraft and the pilot was forced to initiate an emergency landing. The drone also damaged a vehicle when the unmanned aircraft fell from the sky after the crash. 22-year-old Andrew Rene Hernandez was arrested pursuant to a criminal complaint filed Wednesday that charges him with one count of unsafe operation of an unmanned aircraft. According to the complaint filed in the United States District Court, during the early morning hours of September 18th, LAPD officers responded to a burglary call at a pharmacy in Hollywood. The responding officers requested air support, and an LAPD helicopter flew towards the scene. As the helicopter approached the pharmacy, the pilot saw the drone and attempted to evade the unmanned aircraft. Coming up, Flirty partners with Volt Health to conduct COVID-19 test kit drone delivery. Those details after the break. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Flirty and Vault Health have started a partnership testing drone delivery of the first FDA-authorized saliva test for COVID-19. The COVID-19 pandemic is continuing to spread with more than 250,000 deaths and more than 11 million cases in the United States. Vault Health distributes a COVID-19 saliva test kit that can be used at home under the supervision of a healthcare professional through a video call. To deliver the test kits to homes will eliminate exposure risk and create further convenience, especially for those who do not live in proximity to an on-site testing location. The Vault Health COVID-19 test kits have been added to Flirty's existing drone delivery test program underway in Reno, Nevada. Throughout the partnership, which will begin immediately, Vault Health will send kits to distribution centers based on historical market demand data. When a customer places an order, 
A Fleur T drone will deliver the COVID-19 test kit to the customer's home on demand. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. We are currently operating on our winter schedule, so Airborne is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.